Kelvin, I've just been talking to the manager about how quickly things can change in this game that we love and how quickly kind of the impression that people get from a football club can change. It's only a couple of weeks ago you were going to Notts County and potentially you could have been top of the league. Yeah. And, and now I think people might think back-to-back defeats, what's going on at Accrington? That's football for you. It quickly changes. You have your ups and your downs. Um, you just got to take each game as it comes and and try and get... Obviously, we're on two defeats in the league now. We need to get back to winning ways and the league is still it's still early doors and it is still really tight I'm interested because a lot of you guys there are footballers who aren't massively keen on football but a lot of you guys will love football just like the supporters in the stands is there a switch that you flick do you look at watching football as a fan the same way as I do and think X are struggling they've lost two games in a row but then when it comes to actually playing and being involved in it you can take that wider view yeah 100% um Obviously, emotions sometimes get the best better of you. Um, but me personally, I, I'm a Liverpool fan, and not been not been the great times for them recently. But I still think they are a, they are a good team and whatnot. And win, lose or draw, I'm I'm Liverpool through and through, and and that that's just me. Is that? Do you look at it differently to your mates who support Liverpool? I do. I do see it differently. Yeah, yeah, I do because I know as a footballer, it's. It's hard sometimes, confidence can be low and you kind of feel that that vibe that you get um, going into games and you, the pressure's on and whatnot and you, you, you're, de- you're so desperate for that win. Um, and I think it's football's just a momentum game and if, I think if you're winning games, it's just, it just snowballs. Um, and as for it, probably the same as when you're losing games, I've been at the other end where you, 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 sh- you can't buy a win. Um, you feel like everything's against you. Um, and that's probably where you need to go back to basics and, and and try and build foundations again. I don't think that's probably ever changed in all the football. Those runs have happened and, and players have been conscious of them. Do you think we're more aware of the mental side of the game and more aware of the fact that you think like that than maybe even when you started playing? Yeah, as I've got older, I've realised that. Um, with, with experience, I've definitely felt differently um, psychologically and whatnot and... Uh, you try and block out all the all the negativity and try and stay as positive you can and um, and just and just try and, and do your best and give your best and and hopefully that's enough to to win games I'm also fascinated on a much less sort of <laughs> important note as a Liverpool fan how much are you in the majority in that changing room now because there was a time where it would have been pretty much everybody supported Liverpool with one or two Evertonians in there to use as cannon fodder what's it like now um, it is a bit mixed to be fair <laughs> you do kind of uh, you just you just you, you mix as, as, as friends but at the same time you do get a little bit of banter and whatnot between the, the clubs yeah I'm thinking about Sean McConville being yeah. an Evertonian yeah. <laughs> he came straight to mind absolutely <laughs> um, approaching this game then Sutton I don't think any by anybody's measure anyone would say they've started well at this point in the season, that doesn't necessarily mean too much. Is it very different playing a team who are towards the bottom of the division compared to going to Notts County or playing Mansfield, who are right up there towards the top? Yeah, it is. Um, I think they're on three points, aren't they? And we're, we're ten points, so what's that? Seven points. They finished them up this month off decent. They'll be they'll be they'll be up there. Do you know what I mean? It's not. You can't gauge at the minute where where teams are and how they are. I know. I know sort of I've played against them a couple of times and they are a horrible team um, hard to play against very organised structured stick to what they do they don't do anything different um, and it's not going to be an easy game I know that I can I can tell you that and I suppose in a strange way given that Accrington have come down and Sutton have been in this division for a little while having come up through non-league will there be more experience and more know-how about this division in their dressing room than potentially in yours you could say that um, you could say that but at the same time obviously Atkinson are in a higher league and whatnot, and you, that, could go, that could go the other way but they obviously come from, from non-league they, they've sustained their, their league stature uh, I don't know how many seasons now but they've done, they've done alright over the, couple, the last couple of seasons that I've played against them and um, we've just got to take the game to them be on the front foot, be as aggressive as them and, and, and win the battle because that's what it's going to be. From the point of view of somebody who's played in these divisions, 
what's the biggest thing you encounter that's different between League Two to, to League One? Um, I believe the balls the balls in the air a bit more <laughs> in League Two. Um, and as for the chances that are created in, in League One, I feel like you get punished more, personally. How does that... When you play Mansfield, for example, I think they had four shots on target, scored three goals that were sensational finishes, certainly. Yeah. Is that unusual, then, in this division? Is it more unusual to see somebody, an individual or a team, being really clinical? I don't know. I, see, I don't know. I see Mansfield... Obviously, the last, I don't know how many seasons I've played against them, but they are one of the best teams in the league, regardless. And I've always said that. My dad's asked me, family, other family friends has asked me, Mansfield, Mansfield, yeah, I, say, I always say, they'll be up there by the end of the season. Um, and they're, they're, they're a well-oiled machine. Um, and, I, and I do believe they have got the quality up front to, to punish you, which shown against us with only four shots and I suppose as a defender on the other side of that if you do concede a goal in this division compared to playing in League One maybe can you be more confident we'll get a chance we'll get back in this game potentially yeah I do believe you keep knocking in this league uh, keep putting pressure on on people's back lines something will give and you will get a chance um, and that's kind of what you've got to got to do it's more like a territory game in the League Two. Um, so gaining the territory, higher up the pitch and, and, and really pushing their back line and asking questions and I, I do believe that, that something will give.